All right, so based on the video that you just watched, you found out that we will be talking about inequalities today. And from the screen, you can see that an inequality is something with an infinite amount of solutions. So in the past, we dealt with equations that might say something like this, x equals 10. The equal sign means it's an equation, and there's just one answer only, and that answer would be 10. Today, we'll be talking about inequalities that might say something like this. This would say x is greater than 10. And there's an infinite number of solutions because there are so many numbers bigger than 10. We don't even know them all. Infinite meaning it goes to infinity and beyond, according to our friend Buzz Lightyear. So you're talking about numbers greater than 10. You have 11, 12, 13, 14. Then you get in the hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, so on and so forth until you literally be counting for the rest of your life. So that's why they have an infinite number of solutions. Now these inequalities that we'll be talking about look like these symbols. So over here what we talked about in the warm-up is our less than symbol. If it points to the left, you made an error out of it, it's less than. If it points to the right, like our red one over here, that means this symbol is greater than. There's one way to remember that. Also, I said one way to remember the less than is it looks like an L. You can even spell less than with it. But arrows might help you if you are pretty good with number line. Well, let's move on to the next slide. Here is a good slide to take notes on. So I'll go ahead and pause the video, copy these symbols down as well as the words next to them. These are the symbols that we'll be talking about when we deal with inequality. So on the top left, we have our greater than, top right we have our less than. And the bottom two are a little different. When it has the line underneath it, that means it is also including that number. So if it said x is greater than or equal to 10, that means 10 would work there. So instead of it just being 11, 12, 13, 14, you would have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, because it's that number or equal to that number, that number or more. All right, hopefully you pause the video, copy these down. Let's move forward. So we talk about solution sets. What works? So in the first one, we have x is greater than 10. So we would read that as numbers greater than 10. Well, what numbers are greater than 10? Is 10 greater than 10? No, 10 is equal to 10. So the first three numbers that would work here would be 11, 12, and 13. The one on the right, it has the line underneath it. So those are numbers that are greater than or equal to 10. So the first three numbers that work here would include the 10. Why? Well, 10 is equal to 10. So that works. So since it's greater than or equal to, the first three that work here would be 10, 11, 12. All right. So the next one down here, we have numbers less than 9. Again, is 9 less than 9? Nope. So 9 would not count here. So the first three would be eight, seven, six, so on and so forth. The one on the right will include the nine because there's a line underneath it. So it's saying numbers that are less than or equal to nine. And since nine is equal to nine, the first three would be nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, so on and so forth. All right, so here we have our inequalities on the left side. We're going to turn these into sentences and also give the first three numbers that satisfy the solution set. So I'm looking at our red inequality up there, that first one. Since this little symbol would be pointing to the right, if I made it an arrow, I would say this symbol is greater than. So this is numbers or a number greater than 15. So that is what the inequality would be. And a real life scenario could be a student made more than 15 shots, say in a basketball game. Okay, and the first three numbers that work here, would 15 be correct? Well, 15 is not greater than 15, so the first three numbers would be 16, 17, 18, and then on and on until you to infinity. Looking at the green inequality, this one is pointing to the left, and when we go left on a number line, we're getting less than. So this is a number less than 20. Think to yourself what a real life example could be for numbers less than 20. In this case, it says your friend has under $20. But yes, this inequality is less than 20. So what are the first three numbers that satisfy the solution set? Would 20 work? Well, is 20 less than 20? No. 
So the first three would be 19, 18, 17. Now the blue one is a little different because it has a line underneath it. Remember, when it has that line underneath it, that means that 48 is included. Now, how we would read this one would be a number greater than or equal to 48. Think to yourself, what is a real-life situation that could satisfy something 48 or more? So the 48 is actually going to be included. Now, this is probably hit close to home for some of, some of us who have been to Carowinds, where it says you got to be 48 inches or taller to ride the roller coaster. So once you hit that 48 mark, you're good to go. So once you're 48 inches or taller, that works. So the first three that work here do include the 48 because it has the line underneath it. And similar to the blue inequality, we have our purple one, the very last one. It says a number, it's pointing to the left, so a number less than or equal to 12. A real life situation, well, for the kids menu, once you hit a certain age, can no longer order from the kids menu so an example would be the children's menu being for kids 12 years or younger so the first three that fit here would be 12 11 and 10 remember the 12 is included because of this line underneath our symbol means or equal to so based on that one i would go ahead and pause the video here, try and copy this down on a piece of paper or in your notebook and see if you can correctly fill out each inequality and all the solutions, the first three solutions that fit for every scenario. All right, so the first situation is a number less than 15. Now, this number, you can choose any variable for it, so I'm just going to use n. So a number less than 15, again, the first three numbers that work are 14, 13, and 12. Remember that 15 doesn't work because there's no line. 15 is not less than 15. The next one, a number greater than or equal to 12. So a number greater than or equal to, make sure you have the line underneath it, to 12. So the first three numbers that work, yeah, 12 is greater than or equal to 12. And then we have 13, 14, so on and so forth. The next one looks out of order, but we can still solve this. 20 is greater than a number. So think about 20 is greater than what? Is 20 greater than 20? No. Is 20 greater than 19? Yeah, so it'd be 19, 18, 17. This one's a little weird because it looks out of order, but if you rearrange it, the carrot is still going to point to the end. So another way to rewrite this one, if 20 is greater than n, that means n is less than 20. So that's why the first three are 19, 18, 17. Last but not least, 9 is less than or equal to a number. So 9 would work here. And then 9 is also less than 10, less than 11, so on and so forth. Again, if you rearrange this, the carrot of the, the inequality, I should say, is going to be pointing to the 9 here. So if we rearrange it, it would be 9 greater than or equal, or n is greater than or equal to 9. That is what your chart would look like. Based on that, there is a five question assignment in Canvas that you can go ahead and begin now. And then do not forget about the exit ticket, which you will send to your teacher in the chat.